What's going on, everybody? It's Natural back with another video, y'all. Just doing a little quick little video. Um, excuse how I look now. I did go to church. I was cute um, earlier. Y'all seen the pictures that I posted. Now I'm back in chill mode. Jesus turned um, water into wine. And so we having some of that. Okay. And happy Sundays to everybody. And cheers. You feel me? I wonder what y'all are cooking today, honey. I ain't going to do nothing, but I'm make some steak. I'm going to put some steak in the oven. I'm going to bake a little bit of chicken. And I'm going to make some cabbage with some potatoes in it. It's just going to be very simple. Just meat and vegetables. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I wanted to do this little video um, talking about the Peach McIntyre situation. I don't know if y'all noticed but or y'all been seeing, if y'all follow Peach McIntyre. Um, I do, but I don't really watch her all like that. But um, I did see where um, she showed it a couple times. And that's what got my attention because it wasn't just one time. It was, it was actually a couple times that I've seen. And I think it's been going on um, prior. I think it's been happening for for quite some time now. As far as them, the um, YouTube streets keeping on calling CPS on her, I'm confused with that. You know, and I, and that's one thing that I noticed um, about YouTube when I first started on YouTube. I had um, a demon in my comment section um, threatening to call CPS on me. And, you know, I hadn't even been on YouTube for like a month. You know, and I had this woman in my comment section talking about, um, and I seen her in other people's comment sections. She was in, actually in truth um, comment section. But they blocked her. They told, they didn't block her, but they um, deleted the comment and said that, you know, we don't do this over here as far as, you know, coming for people's kids and things like that. So I give it to, um, in, the, in the comment section. They did delete the comment. But that's crazy for a person to come on YouTube and feel like they can contact CPS off a video. Now, the couple of videos that I did see Peach McIntyre do... Um, it wasn't no reason for, from what I see, she takes very good care of her kids. Do I agree with everything that comes out of her mouth and maybe some of the decisions that she um, make as an adult? No, I do not. But when it comes to her children, it seems as if she takes very good care of her children. So I'm trying to see what's the, like, you know what I'm saying? What, what's making people feel like they want to conjure up CPS? You know, I mean, that's just, it's, it's hate. It's hateful. You know, hate, it, it, it's, it's no extent that haters and demons will go through. When I mean, you jealous of something or, or you can just be a hateful person or a miserable person going through whatever it is you're going through on the opposite side of the phone or the tablet or the, the, the laptop or whatever it is that you're looking on YouTube with. You can see somebody doing halfway decent, making a little bit of coin, doing videos, you know, and for whatever reason, you just got so much hate that you digging and digging and trying to see how much of a demon and what you can do. So what you choose to do is call CPS on this lady. Not once. And she said that she thinks it's the same individual. She dropped a couple names in the last um, video she did. She dropped a couple of names or whatever. You know. Um, then she said it might be her neighbor. She said her neighbor don't her neighbor don't like her. So it could be her. You know. And, and, and it's scary when you got people coming for you and your children like that. that like, that's like the worst thing you can do is come for somebody's kids. Especially when you have no grounds. Especially when there's no reasons. You know what I'm saying? You don't know Peach. All you see is what she put on the camera screen. And what I'm trying to figure out is I haven't seen her mistreating her kids or, or doing anything that's CPS worthy. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you know it's just some demon-ish. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it's, and it's scary and it's very unfortunate, Peach. I'm sorry that you're having to go through this. But this is one of the reasons why I refuse to put my real life on social media. Yet I will, I'm going to react. I do the reactions. You know, I give my two cents, my opinions on, um, you know, what everybody else put out on the YouTube streets. But for, as far as me putting out my personal business, no, it's too dangerous and it's detrimental. You know, it, it, people being doxxed left and right. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to dox that individual, the content creator. But when you start to bring children, that's a very, very dangerous game to be bringing children into uh, whatever hatred that you have for an individual that you really don't know. That's when it starts to get scary. And see, you know, whatever you do on a per to a person that's grimy and dirty and um uncalled for, just know it's gonna come back on you ten times fold. Ten times fold. I know I got some enemies watching me right now. Maybe some family members that um never wished me well. You know, that always thought that I was this kind of person, but they don't didn't even get the chance to really know who I was, but just always so quick to talk because it's so easy to do so. And they might not be happy with what they got going on. They know they ain't shit. So they want me to be the same way. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep your circle closed. You can't be scared to cut people off. I don't care if it is your family member. 
I don't care if it is somebody that gave birth to you. None of that means nothing if they don't mean you no good on your in your everyday life, in your everyday living. Your gut not going to lie to you. If you're sensing something, a wild person can't... Why you can't never look me in my eyes? Why you can't never make eye contact? Why I always got this feeling in my gut when you turn around, when you come around? Why I always feel some type of way when you in my face? It's your spirit and your gut telling you that this person ain't right. It could be your own kids. You know, it's a spiritual situation. It's a spiritual warfare. Everybody is under attack. You got to be strong. You got to be prayed up. You got to be protected. Because people is out to get you, especially if they see something in you. If you got this bright light in you that, you know what I'm saying? You probably don't even know you got it in you. But these people see it. They see it. You ever sit back and wonder like, dang, what have I ever done to this individual? What have I ever done to this person to, to warrant this kind of treatment? What have, I ever, what, what have I done? You know what I'm saying? And when you get to analyzing and you realize that you ain't done nothing to this individual. As long as you stay solid, you ain't got to never question if it was you or not. As long as you stay solid, listen to what I'm saying. You ain't never got to question whether it was you or not. Okay, so my, you know, like, that's what I tell you. Stay sucker free. Stay sucker free. Peach, I'm sorry that you're going through this, but it's partially your fault. Because you put all your business on YouTube. You put all your everyday, your everyday personal life. You share too much on YouTube. That's a lot of people's downfall. Sharing too much with the public. Some things are to be kept to yourself. Let people think whatever they want to think. Let them think you lonely. Let them think you ain't got no... Yeah, let them think that. Because it's a, it's a, that's a safe spot. As long as they think ain't nobody around, it's nothing for them to attack. As long as they think it's just you, but you protected and you know you covered by the blood of Jesus, they can't attack you because you already covered. Don't, don't give them no avenues and no, no crevices and no, you know what I'm saying, nothing to slither up under and try to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm, don't give them nothing. Just have them wondering, have them, you know, speculating, thinking, wishing they knew. I know, like I said, I know I got some family members right now watching me, hating. Hello. Remember the person you thought I was? When you ain't, you ain't even really know me, you've been knowing me all my life. But you really don't even know me. Now you got to sit back on YouTube because that's the only communication that you got with me. That's the only how you're going to really be able to see me. And briefly, you will never have me in your life ever again. I will never, gra I will never grace you with my presence. And whoever is, y'all know who I'm talking to if you're watching. Like I said, it might be a family member that's, that's stalking my page. or so, It might be some friends or some so-called friends. Or it might be some haters out here in the YouTube streets. It might be another content creator. This for you. This for you. You know what I'm saying? Natural is protected. Get your, get your, get yourself protected, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's always a hater watching. It's always somebody out to get you. It's always somebody jealous. And it, um, you don't even have to have nothing to be jealous about. They just can be jealous of your inner spirit. Of the, the, you know what I'm saying? When you walk in the room. You know what I'm saying? All hours on you. You don't even be trying to. You know what I'm saying? Even you, you just be doing you. You just be you. So once you realize that you... Are the flex just you? Period. The end. You are the flex. Once you realize that, you're gonna protect what's what's around you. You're gonna protect your surroundings. You're gonna protect your peace. You're gonna protect any and everything when it comes to you. I've come a long way. I know I'm not the only one. You know, so that's my best advice to you is to protect your peace. Stay sucker free. You know what I'm saying? Keep quiet. Everybody ain't got to know your business. Don't never let let the left hand know what the right doing. Don't never put the right foot in front of the left. Uh-uh. Keep them at a distance. Don't let you know what I'm saying? So that's just my advice to you from natural. Stay sucker free. You know what I'm saying? And peach, like I say. I'm sorry that you're going through this. But I just felt like that was like, like, why why is they calling CPS on this girl like that? And when I seen it for the second time, I'm like, dang, I'm gonna go ahead and, and say something about it. You know what I'm saying? But then I have went back and just at, cause you know, when you watch somebody's video, then they 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 um they stuff start to start popping up on your, um, what you call it? So I've seen a couple of little, going back like months and months, people just keep on calling the CPS on her and her children. The last time they called, the man, um, the police, them had came and the kids was in the pool playing, minding their business. Minding their business, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just very unfortunate, Peach. You know, like I say, keep what's close to you a secret. Everybody, you come on here, do your video, do your classes, you know, cut that camera on, live your life. You ain't got to be showing your husband and, Nah, that's just my advice. You do what you want to do, but you see where it's getting you, see? Y'all will never know nothing about natural, personal, on a personal tip. And that's just my preference. To each day on.
Y'all hit that like button. Support your girl. Till next time, y'all. Peace.